Hey, good morning, everybody. I'm on my walk this morning here in Rainbow Acres in Quartzsite, Arizona. It's only 46 degrees this morning. It's pretty chilly, and I'm walking in my shorts. And I walk down this street every day when I'm here visiting my mom, and I thought you might like to see what a homeowner put in their front yard. It's very funny, and every time I walk by, it makes me laugh. It reminds me of all the funny grave sites that I've visited over the years. So I thought I would show you some of those that I haven't shared in the past. And I'm going to start with this one in the front yard of one of my mom's neighbors. It's not every day that you see a headstone in someone's front yard, other than maybe on Halloween. But this one's here year-round with a funny message for all who walk by. It reads, Here lies the bones cold and hard of the last damn dog that shed in my yard. I'm sure many of you homeowners can relate to this one. I know, I sure can. Another funny epitaph that you see a lot on Halloween is, I told you I was sick. So when subscriber Rhonda Manor sent me these photos from her church graveyard, she really made my day and I couldn't help but laugh. Rhonda says Bobby J. Payne was a retired airline pilot and this headstone is located in their small church cemetery in Knoxville, Tennessee. As you can see, he died at the relatively young age of 60, but with a sense of humor like his, I'm guessing that he probably had a lot of fun and a lot of laughs during those 60 years. Thanks, Rhonda, for sharing Bobby's headstone and leaving us all with a smile. As many of you already know, I visit Hollywood Forever Cemetery in Hollywood, California quite often, and I've been visiting for many years, and here I am at the crypt of actress Joan Hackett. Remember Joan Hackett? She has one of the uh, funniest epitaphs I've seen. It says, go away, I'm sleeping. She sadly died at the young age of 49 in Encino, California from ovarian cancer on October 8th, 1983. As an actress, she's probably best remembered for her role in the 1981 film, Only When I Laugh. She received a Best Supporting Actress Academy Award nomination for her role. Her crypt is located here in the Abbey of the Psalms Sanctuary of Faith Corridor, which is just a few yards away from the Judy Garland Pavilion. And she's not the only famous person with a funny headstone. Actor David Nelson, who starred with his brother Ricky Nelson and his parents Ozzie and Harriet on the Adventures of Ozzie and Harriet TV show, also has a humorous headstone. I never would have guessed that he liked to fish, or at least enough to put it on his headstone. But apparently people who like to fish are pretty passionate about their hobby. Or maybe it's a sport, I'm not sure, I'm not a fisherman. All I know is that I've seen the gone fishing epitaph more often than I see any other funny epitaph. Nelson's ashes are interred here at Westwood Village Memorial Park, where over the years I've seen many other funny headstones. In fact, I've probably seen more funny headstones in this cemetery than any other cemetery I've visited. And at the end of this video, I'll put a link to my other funny headstone videos, which include some of the other funny ones that I've seen here and in other cemeteries. Now, I don't think that the next grave site that I spotted belongs to anyone famous, but I'm guessing that just about everyone in the world will recognize this famous line, Life is like a box of chocolates, from the classic 1994 movie, Forrest Gump. And how fun is it to see that he was even born on Christmas Day? And ironically, I spotted Stein's headstone at the famous Hillside Memorial Park in Culver City, California. Visiting cemeteries really is like a box of chocolates. You just never know what you're gonna get. In the same cemetery and on the same day, I also spotted this funny epitaph, Life's not fair, get over it. Another place where I tend to spot a lot of funny headstones is a place I really wouldn't expect to find any, and that's National Military Cemeteries. Who knew the military men and women had such fun senses of humor? This is really one of my favorites. I spotted these at the Riverside, California National Cemetery, and these are just a few of the funny last laughs that I thought I would share with you from this cemetery today. As I mentioned earlier, gone fishing is probably one of the most popular, but I've seen some other funny variations as well. And how about this one? I think this is pretty funny too. And here's one I spotted down in San Diego at Fort Rosecrans National Cemetery that definitely made me laugh. See ya when I see ya. And this one can either be read as funny or sad. I guess it's bittersweet. I stumbled upon it a couple of years ago when I visited Paul Memorial Cemetery in North Las Vegas. I can't believe that was a couple of years ago and I still haven't uploaded my visit on this channel. So stay tuned for that, hopefully coming up soon. This headstone reads, she has me at her feet forever, don't kick. 
Apparently, he plans to be buried at the feet of his wife one day and just wants to give her advance warning. I think it was around three years ago that I spotted this headstone at Big Bear Cemetery up in the mountains at Big Bear Lake in Southern California. This bench with Adios Amigos was in the same cemetery not far away. I was surprised to see these funny last words in this very rustic mountain cemetery. I guess you can have a good sense of humor no matter where you live and die. Since this is your signature sign-off on your YouTube channel, this one's for you, Big Bill Anderson. Not really that far from Big Bear is Apple Valley, California and Sunset Hills Memorial Park. That's where I found this funny headstone not far from the grave of Roy Rogers and Dale Evans. It belongs to James Fuller and it reads, That's a wrap. Sadly, he died at the young age of 41. And in the same cemetery, I spotted a few other funny headstones. This couple really had a fun sense of humor. The one on the left reads, Throughout his life, Ed wondered which is which and what is that. Ed is now at rest and that is that. Doris's headstone reads, My mother warned me about him. And what a fun couple they must have been. And there are also just a few rows over from the grave sites of Dale Evans and Roy Rogers. It's a pretty small cemetery, so I guess they're all really pretty close. And speaking of cowboys, Kenneth's headstone reads, If the good Lord's willing and the creek don't rise. Remember that old saying? And CJ's headstone reads, Heaven just got a little more fun. I've seen racing flags like this a few other times in grave sites over the years, usually indicating the finish line or end of the race. It was located in the same section near actress Karen Black's gravesite. You may remember that I visited her final resting place last year, and this headstone also grabbed my attention while I was there. This is the Garden of Protection section at Eternal Hills Memorial Park in Oceanside, California, which is just north of the city of San Diego. So are any of you planning to get the last laugh with a funny epitaph when your time comes? If so, share it with us in the comment section down below. Since most of us are sheltering at home due to the worldwide coronavirus pandemic, and since my last few vlogs have been a little on the heavy side, and downright downers according to some of you, we can probably all use a good laugh and a little humor right about now. And this week I'd like to thank my latest Patreon supporter, Bob Holmes, for his very generous contribution, and one of my existing Patreon supporters, Sandra Millett, for increasing her pledge dramatically. Thank you Bob and Sandra for really helping to make these trips possible. And thank you to Denise Boldia for leaving this very funny comment. Denise's comment reads, Funniest epitaph I ever read was from the grave of a 78-year-old woman, which stated, I'd rather be reading this. I agree, Denise. I think that's probably the funniest one I've heard, too. So thanks for joining me today, everybody, and I hope to see you next time.